Wizard of Oz. Dorothy lived on a lonely farm in Kansas with her uncle Henry and Aunt Em and her little dog Toto. One day, the wind began to howl. It's a real wind, cried Aunt Em. Everyone to the cellar. But Toto had dashed for cover under the bed. The wind blew harder and harder, until suddenly, it spun the house into the air. The house sailed through the sky and landed with a bump. Dorothy poked her head outside and saw some friendly faces. Welcome to us, please. How do I get home? She asked. You'll need to see the wizard, said the woman. He lives in Emerald City, at the end of the yellow brick road. And she gave Dorothy a pair of sparkling silver shoes for the journey. Dorothy's new shoes tinkled on the yellow bricks as she walked along the road. Hello there, called a scarecrow. Where are you going? To see the wizard, replied Dorothy. Can I come? said the scarecrow. I want to ask the wizard for some brains. Of course, said Dorothy. With a smile, a few miles on, they saw a timid. He stood stock still, his arms stuck behind his head. Help! He grunted. I've rusted up. Dorothy picked up a nearby oil can, and trickled oil. Onto his stiff joints. We are on our way to see the wizard, she said. Can I come? Asked the timid. I want to ask the wizard for a heart. They had barely set up again. When the lion leaped out of the trees with a terrible roar, the scarecrow trembled, but Toto barked. Oh, yelped the lion, don't hurt me. I heard you talking about the wizard, and I want him to make me breath. Let me come with you. The four of them followed the yellow brick road as it went on and on, past forests and rivers and fields. At last, they came to a city of glittery emeralds. A gatekeeper gave them each a pair of green glasses and led them to the wizard's palace. I'll help you if you help me," said the wizard. First, you must kill the wicked witch. The wicked witch lived in the castle, guarded by wolves and crows. But the tin man fought off the wolves. And the scarecrow scared away the crows. Furious, the witch summoned her flying monkeys. Soon, the friends were prisoners in her castle. Now you are my slaves.
she cackled, "Get to work." Then the witch noticed Dorothy's beautiful silver shoes. I want those shoes," thought the witch. She waited until Dorothy was fetching a pail of water. Then she pushed her and bounced. Dorothy was so annoyed, she threw the water all over the witch. At once. The witch melted away into a puddle. She's gone," cried Dorothy, quickly putting on her shoes. "We can claim our rewards." The wizard's rewards were rather strange. First. He gave the scarecrow a handful of pins. Now I'm as sharp as a pin. Then he gave the tin man a hard-shaped cushion. And for the lion, there was a bottle marked courage. Last of all, the wizard showed Dorothy a hot air balloon. We'll fly home," he said. But the rope snapped, and the balloon took off without her. "Go to the good witch, Glinda," called the wizard. "She'll help you." Dorothy was in despair, but her friends took her to Glinda's palace. "I am stuck in Oz." Dorothy sobbed, standing before the throne. "Don't worry," said Glinda kindly. "The silver shoes will take you home. Just knock the heels together and wish." Dorothy and Toto wheeled through the air and landed. Back on the farm, there stood Aunt Em, in front of a brand new farmhouse. Dorothy ran up and threw her arms around her. "I've been on an amazing adventure," she said. "But oh, I'm so glad to be home." And Toto barked as if to say, "Me too."